Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Welcome back, ITTV viewers. Thanks for joining us again this week. I'm Dave Graveline. First up, do you have a Kindle Fire? Well, now you can also have the free Into Tomorrow app that's been available for other Android devices, iPhones, iPads, iPods, and Intel app up for netbooks and notebooks. Please let us know when you download it and what you think about it. Prizes to those that first participate on the show using the new Into Tomorrow Kindle Fire app. We've all heard a lot about the cloud lately. What if you had a personal cloud for your very own use? Rob Omanza is up next with a device that can help you share and access your content from anywhere in the world. Thanks, Dave. While some are still confused with the cloud, others have embraced the convenience of being able to access their data from anywhere in the world, including from their smartphones. A company called Akidio can help you create your own cloud server from home or the office so you can easily share or access your content online. This is my cloud duo from Akidio, a dual bay personal cloud. It's a network attached storage enclosure that supports one or two three and a half inch SATA hard drives from 80 gigabytes to three terabytes per hard drive. The setup took only a few minutes, which included installing the hard drive and connecting it on our network here at our studio. After that, we logged in remotely and were able to configure it. We love how you can access it remotely with their free iSharing iOS and Android apps so you can stream your music and video content on your smartphone or access other important files. You can also connect to your cloud with an internet browser. You'll need your admin credentials and the MAC address for this. Once you're in, you can drag and drop files to your server. I transferred several of my favorite songs and videos onto it very easily. You can also upload content from your smartphone with the app on your Android or iPhone. For example, with the iPhone, we were able to upload pictures in our camera roll. And you can also take a picture from within the app and have that automatically uploaded to your server. That's great for those who forget to back up pictures on their iPhones. My Cloud Duo can also stream content within your local network to UPnP, AV, and DLNA compatible devices. Some of the UPnP clients supported include Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, iTunes, and Windows Media Player. You can also upload pictures to your social networks, including Facebook or Flickr, or videos to your YouTube channel with the remote access to MyCloud via an internet browser. The Akidio MyCloud Duo costs just under $150. Hard drives are sold separately. However, there are no monthly fees for you to access your content remotely or for storage, so that's a plus. If you're still confused about the cloud, we encourage you to tune to our weekly radio program where we translate tech to English for you on our three-hour broadcast. Meantime, back to you, Dave, and happy birthday. Aw, uh, thank you, Rob. I'm happy to hear their MyCloud app also supports Android devices. It can't all be just iOS. Are you fans of the cloud? What service do you like? Or what do you like about the Akitio MyCloud Duo? Have you created your own cloud at home? Be sure to voice your opinions in the comment section or call our radio show to participate and win. 1-800-899-INTO. 24-7, anytime that's convenient for you, 800-899-4686. Shopping for tech? Instead of relying on a salesperson, Newegg.com relies on you, their community of over 16 million technology experts, to give honest, knowledgeable advice on technology they sell. So the next time you're shopping for a new laptop or HDTV, don't take advice from just anyone. Take it from a geek at Newegg.com. Our tech historian Chris Graveline joins us next with some important technological events from the past, including a device we use so that you can hear us properly every week on our radio show and right here on our ITTV videos. This week in 1876, Alexander Graham Bell of Salem, Massachusetts rang up a patent for his invention, the telephone. Just a couple of weeks earlier, he was in a race to the patent office with Elisha Gray, who had also invented a form of the telephone. There's still a lot of debate to this day as to who got there first and who should be credited with the invention of the telephone. In 1877 this week, Emil Berliner, the man behind so many inventions, came up with a little thing called the microphone. And it's a good thing too. 
And this week in 1981, the ZX81, a pioneering British home computer, was launched by Sinclair Research and manufactured by the Timex Corporation. Yes, the watch people. The computer would go on to sell over a million and a half units around the world. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Aw, oh, thank you too, Chris. A quick reminder that we're about to award another really cool prize to a random liker. If you already have hit like on our Facebook page, then you're already entered. If not, be sure to visit facebook.com slash into tomorrow and hit that like button quickly. You just may be the next big winner. Well, that wraps it up for this week's ITTV show. I'm Dave Graveline. Birthday boy, Dave Graveline. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We'll see you soon. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, very